If you haven't seen it already, a woman by the name of Julie Roys recently wrote an article critiquing John MacArthur's lifestyle. The article is titled, The Prosperous Lifestyle of America's Anti-Prosperity Gospel Preacher. And at face value, reading this article myself, it sounds kind of convincing. But Christians, let me remind you that we must test everything that we see, that we hear, and that we read. This includes ministers of the gospel. This includes what they say and how they live. This includes the things that I say myself. I'm not exempt from this. So it's not a bad thing that we are now going to take some time to examine John MacArthur's lifestyle to see if he's living according to the Bible or if he's living in prosperity, like a prosperity preacher. But this also pertains to people who critique ministers of the gospel. We should examine what they say as well to determine whether or not if their claim is true. So let me remind you of a great Bible verse to think about during times like this. The verse comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, it's verses 19 through 22. And this is speaking specific to prophecies, but it can be applied to other things as well. So Paul reminds us here, do not stifle the Holy Spirit, do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good, stay away from every kind of evil. So although this is written specifically about prophecies, we can apply this to this context. We must test it. We must see if the claim is valid. Because if the claim is valid, if John MacArthur is living a lavish lifestyle, that goes against what the gospel preaches. And that would invalidate what he speaks on. However, we should not just take that article at face value. We should test it. We should examine it. We should see if there is truth within what Julie Roy's states. Now, I don't know Julie personally. I don't know John personally. So it is in our best interest, since John is a minister of the gospel, to examine these claims. And what I'll tell you is, when you look at the article and just take it at face value, and you don't know anything about John MacArthur or his ministry or his lifestyle, it could easily convince you. But we need to get both sides of the story to see if these claims are valid. Now, Justin Peters from Justin Peters Ministries did a wonderful interview with Phil Johnson from Grace to You. And they addressed all the questions, all of the critiques, all of the statements against John MacArthur that were brought up in Julie Royce's article. And they provide valid justification for the claims that she's making. They show that there is not a lot of truth in this article. I am going to put a link to that or to that video, that interview, down in the description below so you can watch it for yourself. It is lengthy, but because I read the article and because I watched the interview with Phil Johnson, I want you to know that there's not a lot of credibility in what Julie Royce is stating in her article. So if you're seeing that article shared around, please be aware that there's not a lot of truth there. But don't take my word for it. Do what I'm telling you in this video. Examine what I'm saying. Watch the video, watch the interview between Justin Peters and Phil Johnson, read the article written by Julie Royce, and determine for yourself who is telling the truth. From the interview between Justin Peters and Phil Johnson, it sounds like the article is incredibly misleading. So please, in today's day and age where we can produce information very quickly and make things sound true when they really aren't, examine and test everything. This situation included, anything that I produce included, anything that someone else critiquing a minister in the gospel is included in that. Test everything. Whether it's prophecy, like those claiming that Trump is going to win the election, which were obviously not true, like this article written by Julia Roy's critiquing John MacArthur's lifestyle, test it. Stick to what is good and flee from what is evil. Friends, I hope that this message finds you well. And Christian friends, please continue to be the salt of the earth. Be the light to the world. Go encourage somebody else today because the world desperately, desperately needs it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.